Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and SoapQueen.com. Thanks for joining me on today's episode of Soap Queen TV. I'm going to show you how to make realistic soap gems. This project is fun and surprisingly easy to create. I'm going to show you two different techniques. One is perfect for beginners, and the other one is for slightly more advanced melt and pour soap makers. If you've never made melt and pour soap before, go ahead and check out my beginner series on melt and pour soap that I've created here on SoapQueen.tv. I also have beginner melt and pour recipes at SoapQueen.com. For the beginners out there, I'm going to show you a quick and easy recipe that's not very complicated but still makes gorgeous realistic looking soap gems. To make these soap gems, cut and melt 20 ounces of clear melt and pour soap in the microwave. I like using clear soap when I'm doing soapy gems because it gives the soap a more translucent look as opposed to a very opaque look. I want these soaps to be the color of my birthstone, which is an emerald, so I'm going to be using some shamrock green mica from Brambleberry.com, dispersed in rubbing alcohol, and then adding a little bit of iridescent glitter. Disperse one teaspoon of shamrock green mica into one tablespoon of rubbing alcohol. Make sure you mix it up fully to get any clumps. My soap is fully melted, so now I'm going to take one teaspoon of this shamrock green mica mixture and mix it in to my melted clear melt and pour soap. Now that it's fully mixed in, it's the perfect time to add my iridescent glitter. Just do about one eighth of a teaspoon, so almost just a little pinch, just enough to give it just a little shimmer and shine. Once that's fully mixed in, it's the perfect time to add my fragrance. I'm gonna be using green tea fragrance oil from brambleberry.com. It's the perfect, crisp, wonderful scent that matches these gems ideally. The usage rate for this fragrance oil is 0.4 ounces for this entire recipe. Stir this in well, and then pour everything into the nine bar silicone cube mold from brambleberry.com. Don't have this mold? That's okay. You can repurpose household containers as long as they are fully clean for this project. So like yogurt containers, that type of thing. Whatever you do though, just make sure there's a little bit of give so you can pull gently away on the sides of whatever you're using for a mold to release that soap easily. Once you've poured your soap into the mold, just spray with some rubbing alcohol to get rid of any bubbles on top. Now let your soap cool for four to six hours. Release the soap from the molds by breaking the airlock on each side of the cube. Use your thumbs to firmly press the soap out. Then, using a sharp, non-serrated knife, gently and carefully start cutting the soap at random cuts like this. You want to really make sure that you're kind of going in some sort of pattern so everything looks like it could be a gem. The more facets or the more cuts you get, the better. Hmm. I think this one's looking pretty good. I love how this one turned out. It looks pretty realistic. Easy, right? Let's move on to the more advanced techniques that produces this gorgeous amethyst soap. Do you notice the clear sparkly soap in here? Let's make that first. Cut some clear melt and pour soap up into very small chunks. Then put it into a food processor or a blender. I'm just using a mini blender right here. Blend for several seconds until the soap has been pretty crushed up. The soap may want to stick to the sides of the blender, so make sure to be taking off any soap that you need to. This next little bit's gonna get a little bit messy, so I'm just gonna put on some gloves before starting. Make sure you have a glass bowl to do your mixing in, and then put about 10 ounces of this blended up clear melt and pour soap into your glass bowl. Then liberally sprinkle snowflake sparkle mica from brambleberry.com all over it. This is a gorgeous kind of white grayish shimmer. Then sprinkle the soap with just a little bit of iridescent glitter. Now just mix, mix, mix really well. I want this really evenly mixed. 
Finally, just do a small amount of vintage gray mica from BrambleGray.com. Doesn't have to be that much. And with this bit, don't mix it quite as much. We kind of want the black or the gray chunks to be a little more concentrated. To give this amethyst soap a rich purple hue, I'm using Easter Purple Lab Color from BrambleBerry.com. This comes really concentrated. You do need to dilute it. To learn how to dilute lab colors, look for the How to Dilute Lab Colors blog post on SoapQueen.com. Now, cut 20 ounces of clear melt and pour soap and add it to a heat safe container. Melt it in the microwave on 30 second bursts. Now this has a little bit of chunks in it and that's fine because temperature is a really important thing here and I know if I heat this up to try and get these last chunks in there, it's gonna heat this soap up too hot. I realistically want this soap just about 130 degrees and it's still a little bit hot. So I'm gonna pull it out and just keep stirring to melt these chunks in. Then I'm gonna add four milliliters of diluted Easter Purple Lab Color. That looks so cool. Then I'm going to add 0.4 ounces of lilac fragrance oil. Mm. It smells so fresh and floral. Keep checking the temperature of your soap until it's about 130 degrees. You don't want your soap mixture to melt any of those beautiful embeds we made earlier. Now that my soap is the right temperature, it's time to put all the elements of the soap together to create beautiful amethyst gems. Sprinkle a few of your embeds into the bottom of the soap mold. Then pour a little bit of the scented purple soap in. Mm, looks and smells delicious. Now spray those with rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol really helps the embeds adhere to the melt and pour over pour. Now add some more embeds. And finally cover with some more purple and add some more chunky embeds to the top. Spray the top with rubbing alcohol to disperse any bubbles and then allow to fully harden and cool. This will probably take four to six hours or even overnight. To release the soap from the mold, gently break the airlock. There we go. That's coming out well. Beautiful. This looks really great already, but to make it into a gem, take a non-serrated knife and start cutting carefully at random angles. I love how with each cut of this, different gorgeous layers and colors emerge. Each and every gem looks completely unique. To store your soap, just wrap it in saran wrap or plastic food wrap. Here are some of the soapstones I created using different colors and different variations of the techniques we just covered in this video. Wow, there are so many different color options. You can see I got a little crazy with some of these colors, but I really like how they turned out. I would love to see you make some of these creations. If you do, please post them on our brambleberry.com Facebook page or on Instagram and tag them hashtag SoapShare. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy soaping. To store your mountain pour soap, just rub it. <laughs> just wrap it, okay. <laughs>